Keep on rocking in the free world. Keep on rocking in the free world. What are you doing? Climbing on people's cars again. Silly cat. What are you doing? You think you're invisible when you're up there. You think nobody can get you. Oh, yeah. Look at you. Well, am I going to fit 10 feet, 3 meters? It's going to be tight. Steady as she goes. <laughs> Well, look at that. Just barely. Well, it worked. I fit in the booth uh, by a matter of a few centimeters with the solar panel and the chimney on the roof and uh, gave my house a nice pressure wash. Of course, then I look out here and I see that if I had just gone to the one on the side, look at this. You can park the big RVs on the outside booth there and uh, you've got even more space and you can do your awning and everything else. It's pretty cool, eh? Alright, I might as well do the shower at the same time. Alright, alright, so... A clean home is a happy home, and that means the inside and the outside. Never forget that. Here is a question from a YouTuber called uh, My Sing Along Song. Don't know if it's a he or she, so my apologies. But Vancouver in the house. Glad I found your channel, because I'm also in van and trying to figure out how to get cable or Netflix and internet in my unit. Please let me know who your internet cable provider is and what package it is called. Um, also, what made you pick the Kimberly fireplace over the Cubic Mini? Now that you've tried both propane and wood, which one do you prefer? Um, okay, so first off, there's no real internet provider, as, uh, uh, you know, aside from uh, um, cell phone data. So you can use a hotspot on your phone or you can buy one of these little guys, which is an internet stick, which all the cell phone providers do sell. Uh, it's for very light usage. It's good for web browsing, things like that, but I wouldn't use it for streaming Netflix very much. I do once in a while, but we're talking like an episode of a show once in a while every few days, not sitting there binging, because most of them will have data limits of 5 gigs or 10 gigs, depending on who you go with, and you've got to be willing to pay for it. Uh, other than that, go find Wi-Fi. That's your solution. Uh, one of the big draws of this lifestyle to me is the fact that I don't have unlimited 24-7 internet access because I don't want that. When I lived in an apartment and I was always connected, I was in front of a screen all the time. Now that I'm living like this, I don't want to be sitting in front of a screen. You know, I want as little as possible. I do enough for my YouTube and I do a little bit of Facebook and a little bit of Instagram, most of the stuff on my phone to be honest. But uh, one of the best parts of this lifestyle is disconnecting from all of that stuff. So I really like it like that, where I have to limit myself on purpose, basically. Uh, as far as the TV goes, I've done videos on that before. I have a rooftop antenna. It's just a 360 degree uh, HD antenna. And depending on where you park, if you're here in Vancouver, you will get between five and 12 uh, stations in HD. Uh, again, depending on where you park. Uh, but it cost me somewhere around 100, what was it? This one was, it wasn't that expensive. I think it was like, uh, 
Well, it was a hundred and something. I don't even remember. It was it was nothing, and it replaced the crank up antenna that I had on the roof before, which uh, are a pain in the butt. You got to put them up and down, and they're obvious. When you have your antenna up on the side of the street, it's pretty obvious that you're in the motorhome. But this one is just there. It's UFO shaped. It's just a looks like a plate on my roof, and it picks up all directions, so I get some TV that way. I watch TV maybe once a week though, like very very little. Um, and then I. Uh, Oh, I do have a substantial DVD collection. I still uh, love buying my DVDs and Blu-rays. And uh, yeah, so I try to limit any on-screen watching time to the bare minimums, and then I find better things to do with my time. So that's kind of my answer for you on that. As far as the wood stove goes, why did I choose the beautiful Kimberly? Because when I budgeted to buy this motorhome, I budgeted with uh, getting the Kimberly in mind. So. Um, money was no object, and it's a much more substantial stove than the, cubi, uh, the cubic mini wood stoves, which are great little stoves, don't get me wrong, but the Kimberly is more substantial, puts out much more heat, and, and can last all night, and keep you warm all night, and you can cook on it. Uh, it's just, you know, if money's no object, I'd choose the Kimberly over the cubic any day. And when I was budgeting for a motorhome, like, put it this way, if you're looking for a motorhome and your budget is $30,000, in your mind, make your budget $25,000, and now you've got an extra five grand to do something like this and get your Kimberly Wood stove. And that's exactly what I did when I was searching for a motorhome, is I deducted the amount of the Kimberly stove from the purchase price of a vehicle I was looking for and made sure that it fit in my budget. It's really that simple. And I knew I wanted to do it, and I made it happen. Um, propane versus wood, there's pros and cons of both. Uh, propane uh, is easy, you just turn a switch and light it and it's on, whereas wood you have to, you know, build the fire and put some kindling in, but to me, I, you know, that that's one of the things I like, I like being able to do that and it's very, it, it, it gives me joy to, you know, crumple up a little bit of paper and get the kindling going and then put some wood in and get a good fire going, I think, I just find it much more satisfying than just turning a button. And uh, also the fact that I don't have to worry about running out of propane, uh, I still have a way to cook, I still have a way to heat and you can get wood anywhere. I use Presto logs because I'm in the city all the time and it's convenient, but you don't have to use Presto logs. You can use all sorts of different wood in the stove. So hopefully that answers your question. Keep on rocking in the free world, everyone.